the Acts of the Apostles. Acts 2, 15. Joel's prophecy fulfilled. For these are not drunken, as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. But this is what which was spoken by the prophet Joel, and it shall come to pass in the last days, says of God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, and on my and my, on my servants, and on my hands maidens, I will pour out in these days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy, and I will swoon wonders in heaven above, signs in the earth beneath blood and fire, and vapors of smoke, the sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, before the great and notable day of the Lord come, and it shall come to pass that whoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God, among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know him being delivered by the determinate um, counsel and foreknowledge of God ye have taken, and by wicked hands have been crucified and slain, whom God hath raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be holden of it. For David speaketh concerning him, I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is my right hand, that I should not be moved. Therefore did my heart rejoice, and my tongue was glad. Moreover also my flesh shall rest in hope, because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. Thou hast made known to me the ways of life, Thou shalt make me full of joy, and thou continence. Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, and that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulchre is with us to, unto this day. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God has sworn with an oath to him that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he would rise up Christ to sit on his throne. He is seeing this before speak of the resurrection of Christ, that is his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. <laughs>